everyone, my name is Tamara Chambers and this is Tamara's Never Seen. And today, I am finally watching Wreck-It Ralph. I wanted to like do a Vanellope inspired look. I know she's in all blue. It's a Frankenstein finger from Halloween. It was from the dollar store and no one ate them, so. Diabetes! I'm gonna try to do good movies for the rest of the month. I know I just did Mamma Mia with Rachel, but that was in that 2018 mindset still because we filmed that in 2018. I'm gonna try to start this year off with some good ones. I feel like recently I've been watching some stankers. I really loved Wreck-It Ralph 2. I know it got kind of some flack for being not as good as the first, but if this one's better than that one, I had such a good time with that one for Tamara Just Saw, so hopefully it'll just wow me. I'm looking to cry today. I'm looking to smile with joy. I'm looking I just want those two things. Okay, <laughs> let's do it. This was so good. It was so cute. It was Something that I don't believe I've seen before. It was funny, it was heartwarming. It also made me love the second one even more, or maybe vice versa. Maybe I like this one more because of the second one. This one had great character development for some characters that we do actually know some of these characters from classic arcade games, but most of them we don't. And it's like developing an actual voice for them and character for them. I really liked this, and I really liked the second. Now I can confidently say, because I've seen the first, that I do in fact like the second. It wasn't just like, because I hadn't seen the first. You get it, okay, moving on. Basically, it's that Ralph is the bad guy in the game Fix-It Felix, and Fix-It Felix has the four hammer of um, house hammers, I guess, and fixes things that Ralph wrecks. And he's sick of living in a dumpster, totally, sick of not having friends, definitely, and sick of being portrayed as this terrible person, and he wants to go out and fix that. Big 2019 mood. Last year I said 2018 mood about everything bad, and so this, listen, we're shaking things up. We're going into this year with positivity. <laughs> what I like about the very beginning of the movie is that they've got him portrayed as this bully who's not a bully, he's just big, and he plays one in the game, but in real life he's he's truly not that. I usually don't enjoy like sympathizing with bullies in films. Like if you make the lead character a bully and you're just supposed to like him, it's like a very 80s thing I feel like that I just didn't grow up with, and so now me, 2019 Tamara, is just like, Ah, don't, I don't get it. <laughs> I understand why others do, I just, it's not for me. This is not that at all. He's starting off as like, he's a good guy. He needs to learn some lessons for sure, but he just doesn't want to be bad. Again, 2019. It's kind of like when you watch a movie and you hate the villain so much and the actor did such a good job being such a shitty villain person that you hate them in real life. <laughs> I'm looking at you, lady who played the new girlfriend, Meredith, Black from the remake of Parent Trap. I'm looking at you. Fix It Felix the Game celebrates its 30th anniversary of being a game and all of the game characters after the arcade closes goes and celebrates this thing and Ralph isn't invited and he sees that they're doing this thing and he's just like a few yards away in the dumpster. <laughs> And so he walks over and it's really sad. Ralph needs a medal to show everyone that he's not a bad guy, that he can be a hero as well. And this is when you start to see a lot of other games and interactions between other games and it's really fun. He goes into Heroes of Duty and it's this bug killing, alien killing game. And the lead character is great. She's angry and aggressive and badass and beautiful. I love her. This last week I took pretty much completely off, except for doing my bird box Tamara just saw where I stayed in my house. <laughs> so, pretty lax week, just playing video games that I got for Christmas from Jay Awesome, actually, and uh, all week, L let me tell you, all week. I'm very good at Super Smash now. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you asked, chic. But seeing all these games just, uh, I just, I, I didn't get enough. Gotta go back, gotta do more. Gotta game, gotta game, gotta game. Gotta catch them all. All the games 
Wizard Switch. But again, I saw the second movie before seeing this one, so I knew that Jane Lich's character, Calhoun, ended up with, what is his name? John, no, not, but John C. Riley is, is Ralph. He was in 30 Rock, Jack, Jack, Jack something? Jack McDonald's. He plays Felix. I knew that they were gonna end up together and I was very excited to see how that played out. It was really cute. Their romance was adorable. I really enjoyed it. It wasn't stupid or lame forced. It was really fun. While escaping Call of Duty or, sorry, Heroes of Duty, he goes into the Sugar Rush game and meets Vanellope and I love her. I love her, she's the best, I will cosplay her, that is all. The setup of the similarities between Ralph and Vanellope is the absolute best. She ends up stealing the medal that he got from Call of Duty Black Ops, sorry, Heroes of Duty, and she takes it and uses it to enter a race. She really wants to race in Sugar Rush, and she's not allowed because she has a glitch, and there's some mysterious backstory there, and he's very upset. He goes to get it back from her, he's chasing her around, and then he sees that she's getting bullied from all the other racers because she has a glitch, and she's different. And then he chases all of them away. He's still not happy with her, but this friendship starts to form, and it's really, really cute. And if this movie taught me anything, it's that you just find your weirdos, find your fellow weird-ass friends. <laughs> because they will love you forever. They might destroy your racing car, it happens in a few pages, but then they'll put it back together with a magical hammer and then, you know, whatever, it's fine. Water under the bridge. They make her a car for the race and it's so sweet. He's like, I don't think I can build things, I only wreck things. And she's like, no, we can do it. We're gonna expand your horizons. And they do, and then they make the car and it's a mess. And he's like, I am so sorry. I said, I told you, and she, like almost starts crying, she loves the car, and it's so cute! He protects her, he helps her with muscly big things, and, and she is kind to him and is a friend to him and helps him with, you know, emotional things, and it's wonderful. I wrote, oh no. Oh no. And then again, oh no, twice. He destroys her car! <laughs> Candy is the villain of this film and he convinces Ralph to destroy her car and not let her race. She sits there and sobs and she's like, you are just a bad guy. Oh my gosh. Oh no, I am crying. <laughs> he goes back with his medal though and he doesn't get his way either because Fix-It Felix has gone looking for him and they're gonna shut down his game tomorrow anyways. And while he's getting this terrible news, he sees on the side of the Sugar Crush racing game that Vanellope's face is like one of the biggest ones there. Goes back, figures out all of this secret stuff that King Candy has deleted her, helps her get her car back, blah, 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 blah. Of course, of course, of course, she races. Oh, the bugs from Call of Duty, Hero of Duty, are here now in Candy Crush. It's not Candy Crush, is it? It's Sugar Rush. There we go, got it. <laughs> then in giant letters, I wrote, oh my God, King Candy is turbo? I did not see that coming. And I seriously did not see that coming. Is that dumb? Did people call that from the start? I really, that, that was a twist on par with any of M. Night Shyamalan's movies. I also know that I say his, his name wrong. Shyamalan, Shyamalan, M. Night Shyamalan. Shyamalan, M. Night Shyamalan, Shyamalan. He's a sham, that's wrong. I wrote, this is such a new story. It came out in 2012, obviously, I know this, but it feels so new. It feels like something I've never seen before. It's really sweet, it teaches you lessons. You laugh, you cry. Turbo Man gets his butt whooped on a mountain of Mentos after he's become this Turbo Man, King Candy, Spider Demon, and it's just, it's wholesome for the whole family. Ralph takes care of the bugs with a giant Mentos Diet Coke fountain beacon, and in doing that, he's sacrificing himself because he's gonna fall into this lava soda, and he's falling, and he has the little heart, and he's like, all right, I am who I choose to be. And then Vanellope comes in with her car and saves him. It's really sweet. And I'm crying. Here's a reenactment. <laughs> Do you find out that Vanellope is the princess 
of Sugar Rush. All the people that were mean to her have to let her race now. She's clearly the best racer. Also, also, she decides she doesn't want to be princess. She wants to be president. I love this movie. <laughs> he gets a house, he gets friends, a best friend. He is not living in sadness and trash. And it's the best. The second got a lot of flack for not being as good as the first, but I honestly, I really enjoyed this and this made me like the second one more. I thought there was so much more character development even after we got all of this great stuff in this one. I don't know, I don't know. Maybe I'm looking back on it with rose colored glasses, but I really liked it. Rose colored glasses, is that the phrase? Rose colored lenses? I, listen, who cares? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all next week with another good movie. Can you believe it? I can't, okay. <laughs> Bye. Oh. Bye.